Okay, here's a quick and cheap modification for that flappy shelf. That's an awesome accessory. It's a must have, but um, the flapping is no good and here is a quick fix. Okay, if you look at my shelf, and I would think that this is true for all the shelves from this particular manufacturer, there happens to be a hole back here on the back, uh, on the back of the shelf, down towards the bottom on each end. There's the other one right there. That's perfect. I don't have to drill holes. If your shelf does not have the holes, then you'll just have to drill them out. That's not a big deal. We'll use a quarter inch drill and put your own holes in the unit. Mine has the holes, so here's the quick fix. I've got a piece of oak, which is a half inch by two by four, but we won't need the whole length. We have the two screws, two nuts, and washers. These are quarter by 20 by one inch and a quarter inch drill. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention you'll need two tie wraps, 11 inch tie wraps. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of wood, we're gonna put it right back here behind the shelf and mount it flush. with that leg and flush with the bottom of the shelf. And then over here, and I'm gonna cut it flush with this leg. And we're gonna put a couple of screws and washers into it. And as you can see, that just took care of the flapping. Then the last step, we'll end up painting this black so it matches the grill. So I've clamped one end of the strip on this leg. And we're gonna come over here. And I'm going to make a pencil mark on the back. And we'll cut that. So once you cut your trim board there, just uh, fit it between the two legs to make sure it matches properly. And uh, and you're happy with the fit. Now you can use a, a stubby pencil. I used a wood screw to reach in and make a mark on the uh, trim board uh, through the screw holes in the shelf. And then you can drill your holes out. And again, that's a quarter inch bit. And uh, you'll uh, end up taking that piece of wood now and with your screw and your washer, simply line up the back and push the screw through like that. And then do the same to the other side. There you have it. So there's the uh, the piece of wood that is uh, the trim board now is is positioned properly, and the only thing missing is the nut and the washer on the back. Um, but we're going to paint this first. I'm just putting this together to show you how it should go. It's easier to see a lighter color piece of wood than a black piece of wood uh, that's been painted. But so uh, here's a tie wrap. This is 11 inch tie wrap. And you can put that on both ends, just like that, around the leg and then around your trim board. And uh, you're all set. So I removed it and I painted it kind of in a rush. You see the paint's kind of rubbed off a little bit, but there's the screw uh, on the right and left side, the, the screw and washer. And then if you come around the back, there's the nut and the washer on the back on both ends. And so there you have it folks, a quick modification, just a few parts you can get at your local home improvement store. I'll make sure I put the parts list down below so you can refer to that. Uh, this is such an important accessory that I highly recommend 
uh, not returning it uh, once you purchase it, but just do the modification. Uh, the, bottle, the bottle shelf is very important. So as you can see, it's very sturdy now. Uh, it ain't going anywhere and uh, it was a quick fix. So if this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell down below so you get notifications. Leave comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.